Caesar's Palace, Virgin Games, 1992. The title credits go by pretty fast, but I saw some kind of disclaimer about gambling. Let's slow it down here and see what it says. This product is for entertainment purposes only, and use for gambling or wagering is prohibited. But really, who's gonna know? This genre of game used to be really popular, the casino sim, I call it. Lots of different casino centered games. You don't see that so much anymore. Now most casino games are actual live betting games you can play online anyway, with real money against real people. So, times have changed. I personally never got the appeal of playing fake betting games like this. There's no risk, and there's really no reward. Let's take a look and see what we got here anyway. Alright, so we show up in style. In a taxi. Oh shit, we've already got a thousand dollars? Can I just quit now? I mean, I'll take that. I've already won. So we control a cursor to select where we want to go and what we want to play. And yes, you can go in the bathrooms. Both of them. It was the first thing I tried. So let's check out the games, I guess. I'll start with some video poker, why not? So I have to actually move the cursor to put the money in, and move over to select which cards to hold and deal. This is already kind of a chore. Also, where are the payouts? Some video poker games are deuces wild or jacks are better. This doesn't explain much. So let's just assume deuces are wild. Now, I either just hit a full house, or five of a kind. The game doesn't tell me, but that's not the issue here. The issue is that horrible crang sound. It sounds like the game broke, it's just horrible. I don't want to win again if I'm going to hear that. So I'll hit the slot machines, the most mindless and simple of all casino games. Well, that was stupid. On to the big six. Not entirely sure how to play this one. Looks like I just pick a number and hope it hits. And it did. Okay, I'm leaving now. On to roulette. I'll just do what I would do if I was really playing. I'll put some money on the third 12 numbers and see what happens. I won again. This is not realistic. And finally, blackjack. Since this is the end of the game, I'll just bet crazy. And more winners. This doesn't happen in real life. Okay, last hand. I'll just bet it all. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll cash out and see what happens. What, that's it? I win a ridiculous amount of money and I leave Las Vegas in a cab? Okay, whatever. None of this is how it would happen in real life anyway. Like I said, I never really got into these kinds of games, I just don't see the appeal. But even as a casino game, it still kind of feels like a hassle to have to keep moving the cursor all around. I'm probably not a great judge on these kinds of games, but 3 out of 10.